The purpose of today's video is to show you how you can provide support to your end users remotely using Jump Cloud's Remote Assist. Remote Assistance in general is a tool or practice that allows administrators to provide support to end users without the need of being physically present at the machine itself. While this is helpful to internal support teams in terms of both efficiency and capability, Remote Assist is absolutely critical to MSPs whose businesses would not function without it. While there are many options for Remote Assist tools on the market, administrators should be diligent in picking one to deploy to their devices, since Remote Assistance tools are both powerful tools and potential attack vectors on their networks. Here at JumpCloud, we're happy to offer our own homegrown Remote Assistance tool to allow our administrators to provide remote assistance to their devices. This lightweight app is installed by the JumpCloud agent and can be enabled with a flick of a switch. JumpCloud Remote Assist does not rely upon third-party plugins or agents, making admin lives easier when it comes to compliance and data security. JumpCloud Remote Assistance provides safe, easy, and secure experiences for both admins and end users alike, helping admins get their end user back to work faster than ever before. Let's take a look at what it's like to actually start a remote session with JumpCloud. First, let's envision this as a user who's calling in to the help desk to have a printer installed on their device. First, they'll want to go ahead and launch a remote assist app. This will then ask for their name and a session ID. This session ID will be provided by the JumpCloud admin. To get this code as an administrator, I just go to the organization, go to devices, select the device in question, which in this case is this Windows 11 machine, and I click launch remote assist. This will then open up in a new tab and it will give me the opportunity to actually save or copy this session ID. I want to copy this and provide it to the end user. Now that this code has been sent to the end user and they've actually accepted it and entered it, I have remote access to their device and I can request control. They'll get a prompt. They can then grant permission. And there we go. I'll be able to actually remotely access this device and make changes and help this end user install their device. Thank you for coming today. To learn more about JumpCloud and our remote assist tool, go to jumpcloud.com and try it for free.